Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to create a surface morphing effect using particles in Cinema 4D. In this simplified scene, I have this text object that just has a couple of keyframes to change what it says. If you go here, you can keyframe what the text says and over one frame it's changing. I'm going to use this to create the particle simulation. Now the next thing is to go to the simulate and create a basic emitter. I'm going to set it to be a cube and I'm going to go to my four views and adjust the size of it so that it goes around my text. So I think this is sufficient for what I'm doing. Put it right there in the center and let's grow the height as well. I'm going to make it slightly narrower and you can make it any way you want. Now let's go back here and I'm going to shoot 10,000 particles and I want to make sure that they have no velocity. So I just want to generate these particles and that's just about it. Now I'm going to take this text object and because I want to consolidate it into one single geometry I'm going to put it under a connect object. Just make sure you remove the weld and this is now the connect text which I'm going to use as a collider object because I am going to use from the simulate from the modifiers the surface attract. I'm going to increase the radius to 100 centimeters and set it to attract so that now the text is going to attract those particles. You may need to change that number if you want it to capture particles that are further away. But you can see that immediately after the initial attraction happens, then the next one happens and the particles are going everywhere. So first of all, I need to create some sort of friction. So let's go to the simulate and let's go to the forces and add some friction. This will essentially tame the particles, just make them a bit slower. The amount of friction I need is around 25 or 30. I think 30 is a good number. Let's rewind, press play again, and now you will see that the particles are a bit tamer. The only thing that's missing now is that after the transition happens with the text, and I'm going to turn it off so I can see it a bit better, the particles will go to the closest surface. So we're missing the bottom part of the P and so forth because these two letters are quite different, the P with the A. So the letters are always above the baseline as far as the first word is concerned. And we have a few below the baseline in the second word. So what I want to do is for an instance, I want the particles to sort of fan out, just move out a bit. So let's uh, take the surface attract and put it in this particle group setup just to have things uh, a bit in order. And I'm going to go and add a condition. So I'm going to go to the conditions and I'm going to put it as a child of the particle group. And I'm going to check the age of the particles because the switch happens around the 60th frame. And I'm going to say that when it's inside a range of uh, 55 to 65 frames, I want a flock modifier. And the flock modifier is ideal for these situations because one of the parameters it has, I'm going to make it a child of the condition, is the separation. So it can spread the particles out. Turn this off, turn this off. And uh, this is going to be, let's say, a strength of five with a radius of nine. So let's rewind and press play. And they're going to come they're going to fan out and then they're going to try and hit the morph object. Let's turn this off and now rewind, press play, and you can see that we get this morphing effect by just pushing the particles out momentarily and uh, have them attracted to the surface as the surface changes geometry. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.